Riddles are all about breaking the confines of our subconscious mind. From them, we can learn to think more creatively and solve problems that can initially seem impossible. To illustrate this point, I'm going to tell you a riddle. A taxi driver goes the wrong way down a one-way street. He passes four police officers, yet none of them stop him. Why? Now, think about this for a few seconds, but just for the sake of time, I'm going to have to tell you the answer. The taxi driver is actually just walking. This is an excellent example of the tendencies our mind has that fool us when we're trying to arrive at a solution for a given problem. This particular case works due to the Gricean maxims. The Gricean principle explains that in order to have effective communication, we have learned to give the exact right amount of information necessary for the other individual to understand what we're saying. In this case, I did not need to tell you the taxi driver's occupation. But because I did, you considered that information necessary to solve the problem. In fact, because a taxi driver's occupation requires them to be driving, this extraneous information actually blinded you from arriving at the solution. In a study by psychologists Tversky and Kahneman, they explained that the initial construal evoked by a scenario dominates attention in a way that prevents other construles that are necessary to solve a problem. The key to problem solving is to avoid being trapped by our initial construles. In order to do this, we must first understand why these false scenarios are created in the first place. Psychologist Tversky and Kahneman, in their 1974 paper, attributed this phenomenon to our cognitive heuristics and biases. A heuristic is defined as this, but it is basically a mental shortcut that our brain uses to problem solve more efficiently. Anchoring is one of the most common examples of heuristics that we fall victim to. Now, heuristics are uh, necessary for our brain to solve problems efficiently, so in no way are they all bad. However, it is important that we are equipped with the knowledge so that we can break out of these heuristics when necessary to avoid being trapped by the initial control. Anchoring explains that when we are likely to put a disproportionate amount of weight on an initial value or piece of information that we are given. For example, if you were to walk into a car dealership and ask for the price of the car you were looking to buy, it is likely that the employee would give you a price about 10% above market value. What you don't know is that in setting the base price, the employee has already won the negotiation. Studies show that you are likely to negotiate the price down from this base price, providing yourself a sense of satisfaction, when in actuality you will be paying slightly above market value. So heuristics like these distort our sense of judgment and cause our brain to focus on the wrong things when faced with a problem or an important decision. The solution that psychologists have explained for problems that are caused by our cognitive heuristics is thinking outside of the box. To illustrate this concept, I'm going to show you the nine dot problem. The nine dot problem um, requires you to connect all nine dots using four straight lines or less without lifting your pencil once. It seems impossible, right? This problem employs what Ed, psychologist Edward de Bono coined as lateral thinking. Lateral thinking is the solving of the problems by an indirect or creative approach through seeing the problem in a unique light. Now, this is one of the solutions to the problem. When people say, think outside of the box, this is exactly what they mean. So why is this so hard for us to do? There are really just three rules in this problem. So let's just focus on those rules. You, can, you have to connect all nine dots, you can use at maximum four straight lines, and you can't lift your pencil. Now, I want you to think of solutions that are only restricted by those rules, no other ones. You'll find that when you employ this mode of thinking, you'll arrive at a plethora of solutions. But why is thinking outside of the box so difficult for us to do? The nine dot problem and the taxi driver riddle are all the same problem. Our brain subconsciously creates rules and guidelines that make the problem impossible to solve. In the taxi driver riddle, as long as your brain is convinced that the taxi driver must be driving, it's impossible to arrive at a solution. 
Similarly, in the nine dot problem, as long as your brain can find the solution to be within the perimeter of the nine dots, no solution exists. As humans, we create more rules and limitations than are necessary that put constraints on our creativity, which is so vital in solving problems. In order to solve problems more effectively, we need to stay grounded in the true limitations of our problem and not let our minds run away with us. We need to um, only abide by the limitations of the problem and be aware of our heuristics and biases as to not create more limitations than are necessary. So the next time you are faced with a problem, whether a puzzle or a real problem, I advise that you only follow the necessary rules without creating any more of your own. Our creative mind can only thrive when not confined by arbitrary rules or imaginary boxes. Thank you.